Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's uh, do a reading with playing cards and let's ask the question about your finances. So this is a financial situation, career situation, past, present and future, plus advice. So if you'd like to participate in this reading, please uh, think of yourself and your finances, finances and choose one deck. Until your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's have a look. Starting with the deck number one. <clears throat> this is our deck number one. Financial situation, past, present. future plus advice <clears throat> so let's have a look okay so in the past it's showing um, perhaps a small income you being self-employed or basically trying to do something financially, like a very small income, yeah? It can be working with clients and things like that. But also, it shows that you moved away from that sort of business or that sort of job. Like you, you had it, but you didn't continue with it. Okay. Now, current situation... Well, currently it looks like um, perhaps you found you found what you love doing with this card. It can be a job or business which you love, and um, this card shows that you have lots of doubts about it, lots of headaches, lots of fears. Like, am I good enough? Will it work? Will it not work? And it's also showing that uh, whatever you're doing right now is bringing you big money. Yeah, it's. Uh, Maybe this job or this, or what you're doing now, is uh, does make you completely happy from inside, but it's bringing you a pretty good money. Yeah, with a ten of diamonds, it's basically uh, financially it's amazing, but spiritually maybe you're not hundred percent sure about that thing. Okay, and what will happen in the future financially? Financially, let's have a look. Also, we see uh, uh, good money, we have the money, and we have um, happiness as well. We have happiness, uh, maybe it's a spiritual business, maybe it's some sort of, again, what you love doing, something that's making you very, very happy. It can be that this business is uh, involving your family, your, your home, you know, your family member, or... It's something very, very, you know, cozy, cozy, nice feeling job. Something that basically uh, you love doing. And it's bringing you considerable amounts of finances, basically. So it seems from the spread that you're trying to work out what you want to do, how you want to do it. You're trying, I think, more like a uh, own business, more than employment. But uh, and you're trying, trying different things. So, and in the past you've tried something, maybe that brought too less money, too little money, so you decided to do something else, and now it's bringing good money, but there are some parts that don't match. So, but in the future, I think you'll work it out. Uh, maybe you'll go for less money, but for something that you love more, and that feels better emotionally, spiritually, etc. Now, what is the advice for you? 
from all of this. What is the advice for you here? Well, we have uh, kings here. You know, kings are men. Kings are men. It can be uh, this man, um, clubs and diamonds. So they look like they are um, related with career. And we have some sort of meeting or negotiation or some sort of conference or conversation with these two men. Uh, for me, it seems that uh, you might uh, take help from other people or you might, like if you're doing everything on your own, you might actually, um, um, you know, might consider doing it with somebody else. Maybe look for sponsors, maybe do with someone male who is male, maybe do with some sort of organization, you know. Because these two kings, they feel like lots of um, rational mind and organization and support. Some sort of, uh, like, having your back by someone. Having to do with rich men. Having to talk to rich men. Having a back. Some sort of agreement, maybe. I'm asking what do you mean by that? Uh, I feel that there is someone interested in helping you basically financially as a sponsor, someone who's willing to offer you financial support and some sort of stability. And uh, these men are not relatives. These men are someone who work, um, someone who work basically... Well, formal people, uh, office people, how to say, business people. Um, it can be companies, not necessarily like a man. It can be a group of people, like a company or some sort of body who offers, who is interested in what you do and they are interested in helping you somehow. And they basically perhaps are eyeing you already and wanting and thinking about you and thinking about uh, helping you somehow, financially basically. Yeah, so I'm just saying be open also to different types of offers from different types of people who may be sending email and offering you to kind of uh, collaborate with them, something like that. Okay, <clears throat> Okay. The, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to the reading number two. And this is our deck number two. I'm actually got a little bit mixed up with decks. So I hope this is number two. If I mixed up the number, please go for the deck that you chose. For the color. Yeah. Not for the number. So, this is our deck number two. And the question is the same. Past, present, and future. Your financial situation. This is past. This is present. And this is future. Plus advice. Okay. So let's look at the past. Okay, here I'm feeling more like employment perhaps, like uh, it can be studying also. Some sort of growth. It's not that much money, more like you had opportunities. It can show about studying in the university, in school, taking courses and basically growing uh, yourself, uh, perfecting yourself, your knowledge with the help of some teacher or some sort of, you know, guru or mentor or something like that. And uh, this can be in law, this can be... Uh, some, some exams like formal papers, uh, maybe accountancy, I'm not sure about that, but it's more like 
like cold, not art. I'm not feeling art. Uh, so it can also talk about a some sort of employment in a company, like where there are more people, like a group of people, organization or something. A little bit, um, so yeah, I'm feeling but financial situation in the past. Well, money does, doesn't show the money, more like learning, to be honest. Now let's uh, have a look at the present situation. So this card basically shows unemployment right now or maybe uh, some problems in receiving the money. So this card can talk about some sort of job or you know employment that is just beginning like it's a new thing. Yeah. And uh, and this shows, yeah, receiving good money. Like, it's supposed to give you good money. Like, it's a very promising opportunity. It can also talk about accountancy and economic financial type of job. But this card, it, it's basically a situation progressing slowly. So, for whatever reason, it can be either depression, about things not working out as you expected, or the money not coming the way you expected them to come. Or some sort of blockages and like delays, you know, in like they paying late or uh, something like that. But it seems like pretty good money, pretty good opportunity, pretty good. It's supposed to be pretty good, very beautiful cars, these two. But this car kind of makes it slow, makes it a little bit. Um, it can also talk about having an amazing job, but being sick of it, not liking it for some reason. Like, it feels like routine, it feels depressing, it feels like very dull, you know, that sort of thing. Now, what about the future? Okay, so in the future, we're having something changing, yeah? We have something changing. But uh, everything uh, becoming better, you know. It can also talk about perhaps wanting to change the path in a way. Study studying something new, learning something new. Maybe with the help of some person who's uh, around money. He will come and offer something new, for example. Like a course. He'll say, if you don't like this, I can offer you something better. But it will not bring you money, but it can lead you to the path that you are enjoying. And, uh, you know, not without doubts and not without fears. It can be that you will actually uh, decide to uh, go there where this man is offering. And I think you will be happy in a way. It will be like your dream come true. This. It doesn't... Maybe you'll meet a man who's rich. And all your dreams will come true. Basically a person will play a role in the future. But I'm not sure what is, is this exactly. But I'm feeling that you will not continue doing what you're doing right now. Okay, and what is the advice for you here? Wow. So we have dramatic cards here. Either you have to make a very important decision that will change your life. You have to just decide what your heart wants. Where does it want to go? Yeah. Or it can be uh, something related with the family, making decision that will hurt the family. So, tell me more. 
so this card talks about um, being not um, very constant in your the way you do things. Yeah, three of diamonds is very nervous card. Talking about you one day wanting this, one day wanting that. Let's say one day you're working on this project, but the other day you're changing your mind, and you know, uh, going back, like being afraid to continue. It can be a bad relationship as well, like not uh, not enough commitment, I would say. So this card can talk about making a decision about what you really want, what your heart really wants. And uh, this decision has to be very clear. And this card shows that, again, you need to really commit to your dreams and to your goals and make up your mind where you want to go because if you don't make your mind, life will bring, um, take you there and there and there and you will not be able to uh, succeed in one thing, yeah? You'll kind of stand in one place. So just uh, reminding you that perhaps you don't really want, um, you don't really have a clear idea or you don't have enough motivation to, let's say, earn a lot of money or improve your financial situation or have a good career. So you need to decide what you want. Yeah, make a list, write it down and basically uh, work on that one goal. And try to be disciplined and committed and use your willpower. If you're on the lazy, uh, on the lazy uh, side, you know, like, which is okay, you know, basically. But, okay, so this was our reading. Um, number two. Let's have a look at our reading number three. So I don't remember which number deck was this. Is it third or fourth? So if you chose this blue deck, this is for you. Let's have a look at your financial situation, past, present and future. Financial situation in the past. This wants to come out. Present. In future, also advice. Okay, let's have a look in the past, present, and future. In the past, okay, so choose uh, basically some problems, unemployment, it shows. Uh, inability to work or something like that here yeah. but eventually you you got the job or you got the money that you needed and you're very happy you were very happy basically it was the way you wanted now these cards can sometimes point to some medical profession, you know, the three of spaces, almost like surgeries and ambulances and things like that. Um, or it can just uh, show the absence of, you know, work. Maybe other problems like traveling too much or other people, because of other people you couldn't find the right job or right opportunity maybe your mother-in-law was also a part of this some relatives can be sometimes uh, because of some people three of space can talk about third parties and different problems that come from other people but it seems that you were able to get the money you were looking for Maybe someone provided you with money, but basically you seem to be happy in the f in the past, yeah? So what about the present presence? For me, it seems like you're like a housewife. You're basically at home, sitting at home. Like in surrounded by four walls, and this is your house. And... Uh, Yeah, it's like you're in the house with family members and you're like in jail. Well, I'm using very 
rough words, not in jail, but um, like very similar cards to the housewife situation. Maybe you, uh, and I don't see money right now, like you're earning the money. More like you're dedicated to the family and family members, yeah? It doesn't have to be bad. Uh, it can be that you're happy because it ends with heart. So, it can be that you work in somebody's house. But I'm feeling more like it's your house. Okay, so let's have a look at the future. Hmm... Well, it's very interesting. Again, money cars surrounded by kings. So I'm I'm thinking this might mean employment actually in the future. Um, you know, and maybe a job that uh, have men in it. Maybe a job uh, that pays well. Some sort of organization, I'm feeling like official type of organization, company, or basically a job that pays well, yeah. Can involve traveling out of your house. Can uh, can involve learning, can involve learning exams, papers, something like that. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not able to tell more about this, but definitely it's gonna change somehow. It's gonna offer you some opportunities, some help from other people and just in case they come in your way you should consider taking their help and you know going to some sort of classes or learning the subject that you're interested in that can offer you lots of income good income basically okay so let's have a look what is advice for you here So maybe the advice is to look for a job and a profession that you really love, that your heart wants to do, and it can talk about uh, more like um, artistic type of job, like an artist or psychic or that sort of thing, that is a little bit like... Um, what do you call it? Mm, related with arts, basically. Yeah, spirituality, arts, and that sort of thing. Not with law, not with police. And uh, it can be that uh, you will find something close by in your city or in your, or in your area. I know we, the cars were talking about traveling somewhere, maybe out of your comfort zone, maybe to the other block or other area for studying but it seems like uh, perhaps you should focus on what you really love and life kind of will <clears throat> you will off will send it your way yeah it might send it your way yes and this can mm, involve books, studies, uh, maybe teaching, some sort of knowledge. Um, yeah, it can talk about that sort of thing. And also... I'm thinking more so social, some sort of like uh, where you have to con converse with people a lot. It can be books, I don't know. Maybe it's talking about concrete job, you know, with these cards. 
But basically, it seems to me like it's saying do what you love to do, go to the path that your heart tells you to go, and the life will um, send it to your doorstep, basically, the, uh, the career, the project, the opportunity, whatever you're looking for, maybe it's your path, you know, just to go where your heart tells you to go. Okay, so this was our reading number three. Let's move on to our reading number four now. Okay, this is our deck number four and reading number four. Your financial situation, past, present and future, plus advice. So this is your financial situation in the past. This is your financial situation in the present. This is the future. This is advice. Financial situation in the past. Well, this shows uh, a pretty good financial situation, stable financial situation, and you're working very hard. You're working lots and lots and lots, you're always busy, and um, it seems that um, perhaps you've been employed for, for a while, because it shows that you work for the stability, you like the stability, or you work to keep, you know good financial situation because it's been for you financial situation was okay and you've been working to keep it that way that sort of thing and i think you're a very hard worker you believe that you know you earn as much as you do it's proportional to how you earn so it's kind of it can be quite exhausting in a way but it can be that you're doing pretty well from that perspective now let's look at at uh, let's look at the present. Well, also, we see good money. Uh, we see good money here. And we have the two jacks here. Yeah. Maybe that's your job that you have. Uh, it can talk about legal. It can talk about some sort of... Uh, it can talk about kids, it can talk about some sort of quarrels or discussions, like maybe these discussions, these quarrels are earning you the money. So from that perspective, maybe it's a legal job, maybe some sort of social job that are earning you good money. So right now, according to this, you also have a pretty good financial situation here. Again, some papers, perhaps cash from clients, you know, from maybe your partners or, you know, the other companies with whom you work. Like, it's pretty active what you're doing, yes? Again, people, exchange. You can talk about... Uh, some sort of long-term connection between your clients, good connection that you're having. Like, you're not doing it alone, you're doing with the help of the second party. And it seems like this is booming, this is okay, whatever is happening. There are many opportunities here. Let's look at the future. Well, again, it shows people are important in this business. Maybe it's the people-oriented, like, service type of business where you your business depends on people. And I think these two women can be, like, clients or best friend or women coming to you for, for service and paying the money. And I think it's pretty good. These women are red cards. They are... Uh, having good influence uh, for your financial situation. So I think this is all fine. 
and you don't have any doubts about what you do, you're pretty positive about the job that you do, pretty easy about it. Okay, but still, so let's have a look at the advice. What is advice here? Okay, so we have a man here who causes some sort of, I don't know, problems maybe. Uh, this is not talking about the financial situation. This is talking about some man who might uh, be important in this financial situation though. Maybe he's having a bad influence on you. Maybe it's uh, some strange love affair or maybe being in love with some man who is not interested is affecting your work or something like that. Maybe he's a person who is uh, refusing to see the problem, some sort of problem that is there that's relating with an emotional issue. Sometimes can be even hell a person who is not well physically, like from your home, your relative who is ill. Let's have a look more. What are they saying here? Okay. It's like working for the for someone, working for a person you love, working for, I don't know, kids or family, something like that. So the, the idea is that and I'm not being able to get this advice, I'm, say, I'm thinking it's talking about a certain person and a certain emotional issue with that person, someone that hurts you, someone that hurts you. And it's saying something, if there's a person who is affecting you in a negative way, making you depressed, making you exhausted, like energetic vampire type, and this person might be your boyfriend or a relative in the house, uh, you... What do you have to do about them? I feel you have to kind of remove yourself from them in a way. You have to protect yourself from them and uh, focus on the new in life. Focus on opportunities. You are free to focus on opportunities. New project, new things that you know, are there in life, like, if you're doing for somebody this, if you're earning for somebody who's dependent on you and who is affecting you negatively, I think maybe the cause is showing that there is such a person, yeah? So, like, you're seeming like a pretty happy person who feels they're strong enough to handle things, but maybe it's saying that maybe someone's doing advantage of you, but it's also a similar situation to having to care for somebody who's not well physically, mentally, I don't know, and uh, like it's saying, you will not solve this problem with this person, leave them alone, and uh, just uh, think about uh, going further in life and finding, looking for new things, looking for new opportunities, opening up for new things. Wow. Yeah, I think uh, it's talking about something good happening to you. New opportunity, new love, new people who will love you and support you. But I'm not sure if it's uh, actually uh, about that person or it's about the new people. Like, you go somewhere else and you'll meet people who will love you and appreciate you and everything will be amazing. So, I think you're a very nice person and uh, be, be careful 
if others are trying to take advantage of you if somebody off if somebody offers you a new job or something new to do that you wanted you might take that opportunity and i think you you will be very happy there but as i'm saying i'm not sure why is it showing that person particular person here so so you can just um, uh, see at your situation and see if it makes sense yeah because it's pretty unclear for me the end of this reading yeah okay so thank you for watching my video i hope that you found these readings a, a little bit helpful and have a wonderful weekend i hope to see you again bye bye